So, hello everyone and hello elves. It's just Ted here, and um, thought I'd do a little walk through and behind the scenes of my little shop this year. Ignore the fact the tree's not on. I've just plugged the controller back in because I had an issue with that. But yeah, um, this was my setup for this year. It was a lastminute.com. Thrown together in about an hour and ten minutes. I think I put it up. An hour and fifteen minutes to put everything up. Uh, it's not. It's not the same as what I would normally do. Obviously, the wooden beam across the top of the tree is not normally there, but you know, I had it. Want to put some extra props up that I've drilled in the house this year and keep it all contained in one area. Um, that's for the control box. So what I've got here is Boscoyo candy canes. I've got um, two large. Oh, anyway, I think they're mediums. I think they're the forty. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think it's the 48 Nord Canes, same as the Minis. We've got two of them, we've got two more of them in the shed, in the garage somewhere or over there in my storage area. But they are just staked in the ground with, I've got big massive 10 pegs um, and cable tied on. That is just a, normally I use um, some form of tube in there, but like I said, it was a last minute.com and I haven't got all my stuff here. That was, so that's them. They've got them daisy chains. I've got them two daisy chained. These two daisy chained and these two. The reason I did it like that is because that's how the, the plugs are already on, you know. Not all my props have in and outputs and they only have outputs. So this uh, this one, data power coming in, data power coming out. This one is when you got data in, data out's nothing. It's not even connected to anything. Um, Oh, some real funky stuff going on there. Oh yeah, my bad. Um, we've got our 16 string mega tree. It's a what, eight foot tallish, 16 strands, 90 pixels. Um, that's the only five volt I run is the tree. Everything else is 12. Um, I've got a way of keeping them separate and I'll show you that in a minute. I've got the, the 99 node star or 90 node star on top with two of the little spinners from Boscoyo. Uh, this is before, this was pre-order a few years ago, but this is what I've got. And let's go around to the, the main control box. This is a Dewalt toolbox, which has been cut in, cut open. Um, it's a mess at the moment, because like I said, I had an issue. Some water got in through this little valve here, it was left open, cracked open slightly, water got in and basically flooded the F-16. But I've cleaned it with alcohol, rubbed it, dried it out, and it's all working. So I've literally just thrown stuff in here right now just to put on, just to plug the props in. Um, what I've got is I've got the an RJ45 pass through, um, comes in. Last year I had a pie in here as well, and the pie went to the F16, the F16 then went out through the network and out to the rest, out, out, out to the uh, network switch. I've got the expansion board in here. It's the top layer, top boards, there's three layers. Middle layer is power distribution, main fuses for the four inputs. Um, this is 12 volt, which is all white cables, as you can see. All on the outside here, all white 16 pigtails. Um, that's all 12. There's two years, one power supply, two fuses. These are all five, these are all five volt, which is all the black, which is how I keep them separate. Only thing that's black pigtails in my show is five volt. Everything else is white or will soon be uh, balls pigtails. So I can't physically plug them in incorrect. There's two separate five volt power supplies at the bottom, one for each side of the board. Um, there is an amp and a relay under here, but that's obviously going to be removed for next year because this box is getting a full redesign um, and that's getting sealed for life. Um, power coming in, have had other stuff on the side here, speakers, push buttons, there is extra wires in the bottom of there, but like I said, it's it's, it's just thrown together this year quickly. Um, but yeah, if you're quick enough with your F-16s and clean them, you could save them if they get water on board. This was very rusty all around here and a few other places, but that's that all done. Um, see my tree. From there, I've got the power and data coming at the garage, like I said. Here's my network switch, um, plugged in, I've also got 
nice old pie I had an issue with the power for this this is currently just sat here right now like I said it's all just thrown together for the moment here's the show pie plan is to have a board um, around here somewhere next year with the pies on one of the F-16s on so yeah, and then cables run out the garage that way that's the main plan um, didn't use the P5 this year for Christmas because like I said I've just quickly throw some stuff up um, I just want to throw some stuff up so let's go just close the lid of that um, so my tree I've got asked a few things about my tree uh, on top I've just got a wooden beam screwed in with two which these guy wire guy ropes here it's coming down the two spinners are on that that's it that's it this year just two spinners it's screwed into the, the balls topper um, but what i've got here is i've got a banana parasol base it's worked good for a few years but one of the balls has snapped so i've got to put extra i've got an extra guy rope here just to keep it from falling over that way um the four weights got some i think a 20 mil natural conduit which are kind of roughly built bent into a four foot semicircle that is you see the bar from here it goes all the way through to that side so stops it lifting up and the bar at the front stops the front lifting up it has to lift the weight of all four weights normally this goes against the house and gets secured directly to the house so um that's why i'm happy with that base I wouldn't recommend it in a situation like this because you need more guy ropes and um, more guy wires. So it's just a scaffy scaffolding pole in the middle here. Um, what I've got is I've got a builder light show 32 strand topper. Even though I was only 16, that's it's went to 32 just because it's easier to you know connect stuff at the back of it and other stuff if need be. I wouldn't have been able to put this wood up if i didn't have it this is a oh come on what they call like a wall connector for like um railings and that's just bolted it up through there and that one allen key bolt holds us under a bit of tension there's quite a bit of tension um i'll show you the bungee cords at the bottom of the moment that's gonna be a slight change for next year possibly i filed the inside out so that can slide over the pole so my pole actually goes all the way through stars just cable tied to the top um, with the standoffs and the spinners are just screwed on two screws um, These are the old style Boscoy original strips And these are all Paul Zhang pixels Not build a light show um, You can always tell For me if it's, if it's got the black on it, it's build a light show If it's the multicolored, the red, blue and white, it's Paul Zhang um, as you can see, I've literally got like pause on, build the light show, build the light show, pause on, build the light show. It's, I've got a mixture. Um, here's the, the T piece of the bar that goes in. These are my bungee cords, they're under you know a bit of tension. What I did is I put them on, um, got them a little bit of tension, pulled that up as tight as I could do it, pulled the strips off, raised them another two inches. They hung the strips back up so they were under a lot of tension um it was just like i said it was just i forgot how high i had to be so i just had to do what i could do this year um i've got see i've got this one here from this end of the wood and one from the other end coming down that's just for that beam just to hold the beam up for the tree i've got one at the front there and then two come down sideways uh unfortunately I couldn't go any further back because I've got nothing there and I need access to the garage this is the path to the house so I had to do it that way but um this it hasn't moved in the winds you know what all I, what I've done is I've got a bolt through here just in case this does give way and drop I've got a bolt to stop it coming all the way down it's also easier when you're assembling it because it doesn't slide because folks because i've fired that out so it slides up and down i don't have to worry about it dropping all the way down the floor um i plan on changing all sort this all out for next year because you know it's broken and i'm gonna get a proper frame made because it's gonna be going potentially up there so i want a solid frame for it all 
and then once again there's a wee mountain straight to the house so it's a lot lot easier i plan on changing a few things up so this control box will be getting redone um probably late probably the middle of the middle of the year um i might try and film it or take pit might take pictures actually and, and film it I might, I might be i won't upload it straight away i'll upload it when i'm able to let's just put it that way um i've got another control box there that's my other f16s in there that's got to be sort of resorted re out more power supplies up onto the roof that these two will be on the roof i have another f16 in here because you know i don't like to put too much on a port because yes i can daisy chain what, 1024 pixels off an f f f16 v4 port and same as the f the, the v3s if i don't put an extra board on an expansion board but i don't see the point I've got one strand per tree, so if one strand goes, it's one plug, top and bottom. Uh, one plug at the bottom, unhook the bottom, hook the top off, put the spare strand on, plug it in, job done. Um, it's currently going through plain sequences now. Same for the trees. Um, like the canes, I'll have like two, maybe three on a run. Um, just, I don't care about the amount of wires. I'd rather have less and more ports in use for less pixels. Yes, I'm not using the controller to the full potential, but you know, it is what it is. Um, I've got props up there. I have my old outlines down there. I've literally got props, props there, props there. And I've got more props in there. Um, I'm still trying to sort out all my storage. Uh, but yeah, this is my behind the scenes. I'm running, obviously, FPP. Uh, through a little T TP link, that's all going for next year. It's going to be a different setup, but it should be a lot easier for me to access or anyone else to access outside of the uh, for help rather than because that's got no internet. If I need to access anything, I can't do it on like a Zoom call, which is the most annoying thing for me because if I need help, I can't get it without trying to like sit here and like do this on a Zoom and show people on the screen. It's a lot easier to be able to share your screen and do stuff like that but yeah this is this is the garage off-road buggy um it's a it's a very long work in progress that is i have got a, a shed in the going to be built in the garden it's going to be the like the the main place for all this but yeah this is my behind the scenes of 2021 um if you want to ask any more feel free um I can't really just, just go into much more detail about the tree. It is what it is. It's worked. This has been out 2017, 2019, 2020, 2021. Um, this has been on show, on display. Uh, I've had one pixel fail in one strand in the whole time. I don't think I've actually repaired it, to be honest. It's in, a, it's in the spare strand in the garage. Uh, I run the tree at probably 20 or 30 percent brightness because I don't think my <coughs> excuse me the power supply is um it's I'd rather it's just too bright if you run anything more than that put I did have them on 100 percent when I first plugged this in and it was so bright it lit up like across there but like I say and I've got the car can stay off the driveway next Christmas and that's my house I've got quite a bit of I've got some space to play with and some stuff to do and garage door and everything to do and like I said it's going to be good for next year peace out everyone this is the Edwards Family Light Show